Hello my friends, this is Michael, Michael Wolf the Wupnik channel and today we will have a first impression review of the Dyson Cyclone V10 Absolute. So this here is my Dyson V10 and uh, Mr. Dyson has announced in one of his public appearances that from now on he will not invest any more money in the research for a better corded vacuum. From now on everything will be cordless. I think Mr. Dyson gets a little bit soft in, in his brain. Yeah, maybe dementia is sitting in, Parkinson's uh, uh, syndrome. With, with the uh, level of battery technology we have today, this is, according to my opinion, impossible. So let's jump directly in my uh, uh, most beloved test here. I will spread some potting soil on the ground. I will uh, put the sorting. Gr uh, I will work the potting soil into the carpet. And my Dyson DC65 was always able to pick everything up. No traces left behind. And now this Dyson has to do exactly the same. Let's see how it performs. So let's start now with the lowest setting the V10 has. It has in total three settings, weak, middle and max power. Let's start with weak. Well, not bad. I mean, hey, not bad. Let's do uh, stage number two, middle power. And now max power. It can only run for five minutes on max power. I'm impressed. I really did not think it can pick up everything. Like my Dyson DC65. It is clean. There is nothing left. Wow. Well, maybe Mr. Dyson is not senile after all. He is onto something. Yep, this cordless has cleaned as good as my corded Dyson DC65. Wow. That's great. Wow! So as you can see, the dustbin of the Dyson V10 is not the biggest. And sorry, it has a hair, a hair a trigger. So, and it is already nearly full. You cannot put more dust in it below a certain line. Here is a max line and I've pretty much reached it. Yeah, this is a disadvantage to the accorded DC65. The dustbin is just bigger. So let's clean out this dustbin. Let's show you how to do that. You have to detach here the straw. 
or the selfie stick, whatever you can call it. Ah, there it is. It's so easy to remove. And now you bring the whole thing to the trash can. And I will do that now. So, as you have seen, emptying out the dustbin here is very easy, much easier than with my Dyson DC65. You see, down here, I'm coming closer, down here is a red latch. You hold the machine like that and you pull it down and it goes open immediately. Yep, and so it pushes the dirt out at the same time. It's a very good idea. You close it and it snaps back into place. Again. Wow, that's good, huh? Yep. So the Dyson V10 comes with lots of attachments, but only the version Absolute has all the attachments. So for example, only the Dyson V10 Absolute has here this one, this motor head, which is very soft, has a soft thingy in here, so that you can uh, clean up uh, hard floors from any de uh, de uh, debris and this is only available with the absolute and of course i got the absolute here is something for example when you want to clean your uh, your stairs it's something small you see you just put it in here and clack you see this is a very satisfying a deep feeling clack. Yeah, the trigger here is very trigger happy. Yeah, you just touch it a little bit and it immediately starts. So this is now here. Yep. Nice. Oh. Yep. So, and you just press the red button here. Can you see red button? You just take it out and then you can replace it with something bigger, like this one. Yeah, you see? Yeah, this is, is not so handy, so only when you put the small one indirectly into the uh, Dyson V10, then you can maneuver it around with no problems, because it's so slow, uh, not slow, because it's so small. So another thing Dyson has introduced here with the V10 is all the other Dysons, the cordless and the corded ones, have at least two filters. This one here has only one filter. And this one filter is here in the back. It is easy to take out. Whoop, that's it. You hold it under water, you clean it, you let it dry, and you can put it back and you are ready to go. There it is. I mean, you cannot make it any easier. Okay, let's make another test here with those Ritz crackers. Didn't find anything else. You see Ritz crackers, Ritz crackers, Ritz crackers, and another one. So, mm -hmm. I just want to know how it works. So, I believe. This is very crunchy. And now here comes the Dyson again. That thing is great. I mean, really, great. I'm very surprised. Yep, this is the future. Dyson cordless. So now I will use this brush here. 
This is only available with the Dyson V10 Absolute. It is very soft. It is made for hard floors. And because it's so soft, it, it doesn't scratch the floors. So you have some expensive hard floors, wood and so on. This is really the best thing to do. Yeah, it is, it is like, like a glove uh, and it, it really polishes your hard floors, does not scratch them or destroy them in any other way. And we are now trying this one out. Now let's put some splendor here on the floor. Yep, that's splendor. And just put it on here. Okay. Yep, it's white on grayish floor. Not so good to see, but you see the crevices, they fill up with the white stuff. Yep, so. Yeah, let's close it up. I hope my wife doesn't find out I'm doing that. She will be not pleased. So, and now I'm coming. Perfect. This machine is perfect. Wow, I'm, I'm really, I'm really flabbergasted. I did not expect that. Yep, this old Mr. Dyson really did it again. So, and what surprises me even more is the brush is clean. You see, stevia powder is very powdery, very light, and after, uh, after cleaning up the stevia powder from, from the floor, you see the brush is clean. This shows you what kind of strong suction this V10 has. Yeah, it cleans automatically the brush bar. It's wonderful. So because this Dyson has so many different attachments, now I've put this one on, you can reach every corner in your apartment. Let's do this one here. See? I mean, this is great. It's really light. Yeah, my decent DC65, it's a great vacuum cleaner, but it's heavy for my wife, too heavy. Great. I love that thing. I really do. So my friends, this was my first preliminary introductory review of the Dyson uh, V10 Absolute. Um, when you ask yourself the question, is it worth to spend $700 for the Absolute, I can tell you only with all my heart, with all my soul, yes, spend $700 on that thing. It is wonderful. It is a suction power of a corded uh, vacuum cleaner. It has a design of yeah, a Dyson. It is light. It has a much lower, uh, I mean, it fits uh, in every corner. It has all the attachments, uh, the battery so far. 
the battery so far is now down to two bars and I have used the battery the whole time on max here what you saw in, in the video and still down to two bars so I think uh, the battery is also great it should be enough for you to clean the apartment at least a small apartment not the big mansion of Mr. Dyson of course so I like it it is great I can really recommend this Dyson Ooh, this was a mouthful all right my friends well then I will sign off again and I will put on my whoopnik hat yep so here it is my whoopnik hat so that means yeah please like my video please subscribe to my video it's a lot of work I'm doing here to bring those videos to you just for you so that you can make a more a better informed decision to buy it or not to buy it and of course those uh, Dyson toys they're expensive and they come all out of my own money out of my own pocketbook all right well please subscribe please like me and have a great and wonderful sunday and i wish you the best and have a wonderful and happy life bye bye